Hello everyone, so in this video, I'm going to show you how to do cluster analysis in bibliometric or scientometric analysis using the Gephi software. And here I'm going to use an old data set that I have created with 172 articles. So I actually use, I actually extracted the data from ISI Web Science in text format. Then I used the BibExcel software and converted the text file to a network file which I'll be using here. And if you do not know how to do that, then please see the video on how to prepare a network file from text file. I put the video link below in the description and also on the top. And if you already have a network file, please just proceed with that for with the upcoming procedures. So here I'll just open the network file. Here actually I have a mixed graph because some of the articles cited another and some didn't cite others. So we have some connections, some no connections. It could be different for your case. Maybe you will have all directed or mixed like me. So I will just go with the default setting and click OK. So here is all the articles. OK. So now we will make a cluster from this group of articles and which we cannot really see. We, we don't really see anything here. And here in Gephi, the clustering algorithm that we are going to use is called modularity class. Okay, and modularity class, the idea is that nodes in within a cluster will have high connectivity among themselves and nodes in different cluster will have very low connectivity among themselves. Okay, so to do the clustering, first we will go to statistics and then we will come here. As you can see, we have many network analysis options here, but for this video, we will go for modularity. Okay, so I'll click run and here I will go with the default settings. You may would like to change a little bit here and there based on your research interest, but I'll go with the default one and I'll just click OK. So here we see that we have got six communities. Okay, to, if you want to know in detail about modularity, you can read this article and also this one. Okay, then you can read in detail about modularity, how the algorithm works. So I'm going to close it and then I'll come here in filters. I'll click on attributes in partition. Here I have the modularity class which I have created just a while ago. So I'll just double click this modularity class and I have all the clusters listed here. So here, what I can do is I can select one and I can click filter. So this is one of the clusters. So while, while I have this here, I can actually run some algorithm for layout as well. For instance, if I run this one and I will click run and I will stop here. Then what I will do is I will use the dragging option here. I will just configure a little bit. I'll make my dragging object bigger, dragging parameter bigger so that I will be able to drag. Yes, it's bigger. I can take all of it and I'll move it here in one corner. Okay. Now I will move to the second one and I will uncheck the first one, just one click. Okay, so this is my second one. And I can again run this algorithm here and done. And then I will click and drag it here. Then I will move to the third one and uncheck the first one. And I can run the algorithm here again. And stop and I will move it here. Then I will do the same for the next one. And one more. Okay. So now I'll click stop and then we can see all the clusters here, right? So we can actually see the existence of the clusters. That's nice. But now we can do something to color this and to see them in a better way. So to do that, first I will go here in nodes in partition. Here we can just do a partition based on the modularity class. We know already we have six. 
and we see the percentage of article in each of the clusters okay so that's how it looks like if i just click apply i see okay this is my clusters modularity class and i have the six clusters in six corners okay we can also do some ranking of the nodes based on different things let's say we go with modularity class here and we can click apply if you want to select some different colors you can just click here and you can go with different colors okay different color options so i'll just go with this one for now okay and then here we have some more options here we have an option called size this is for node size okay so we select node and then we have ranking based on modularity class i'm saying minimum size is 10 maximum is 25 i'll click apply so now you will see the nodes are better visible here now okay we can see them better you can even make it even larger if you want to see them even better okay and then we have an option here which is called label color and label size but we first we don't have a label at the moment here so there's no point actually going for the label color and label size but we can turn on the labels just clicking the t here so you see all the labels are here now okay and now we can actually do something here to we, we can scale the labels which is by at the moment it is scaled we can use fixed label uh, it's too too much we, we can make it smaller to see them better yeah it's better or we can say it should be similar to node size but then it's so small we cannot really see anything i think it's better to go with a scaled version and we should make it maybe a little bit bigger then we can see something yeah actually it's not really nicely visible so i would not really recommend doing this but how will you know which articles are in each of the clusters to know that you can you can just go here data laboratory and here you will see all the zeros are one cluster all the twos are one cluster all the threes are one cluster all the ones are one cluster all the fours are one cluster and all the fives are one cluster so from here actually you will know which articles are in which cluster okay so that's mostly it that's how actually you can do clustering analysis and for if you want to change something here again you can just click and then filter okay you, you, you can see the relationship between two clusters you can see between three four five and all the six okay so it's up to you what do you want to do and you can also use different layout algorithms here okay you can play with it you can as i showed you earlier you can do different colors and also for age so here all the ages they are of same size maybe you want to have a ranking of the age based on the weights so we can also do that okay so now you can see the weights uh ranking okay and so the, the ones which are bolder they are they, they mean higher levels of connections okay and then we can go to preview to see a nicer version of the image we can just refresh here yeah it looks a bit fancier okay as you can see you can do you can play here with different things you can uh, you can add the levels as you can see you can uh, yeah you you have many options here you can make the figure look even nicer actually with different things okay so that's all here in this video i hope you enjoyed it and try to play with different colors for the clusters okay i think it would be interesting to use different colors instead of using the lighter and bold uh, uh lighter and darker version of one color i think that would be great for instance let's say if i go to nodes and then i go to rank i go to color i change it to something like this maybe could be interesting okay if we turn off the nodes we can see we have different colors now okay could be interesting so anyway play with it and try to find out uh, how it looks better for your uh, research problem or your clustering okay thank you for watching the video if you like it don't forget to hit the subscribe button and please share with your friends and colleagues